Welcome back. Wowser here with another Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts battle. I'm going to do another custom battle. I did the Bismarck last time, and today I'm going to do the Hood. So we'll design the Hood Battle Cruiser. So over here on Design the Ship. Of course, it pops up with the battle, the Dreadnought hull. So you got to go to the biz, uh, Hood. And it was a 30 knot ship in 1940, 41. Uh, it had a geared turbine, but uh, hmm. it just said geared, not double, so I'll go with that. I'll give it an auxiliary. And being a World War One. End of World One. I'm thinking probably maybe non cemented. I don't know. I didn't did not read that part, so I'll go with that. Give it some protection. Now the Citadel. I don't think it had turtle back, and I'm not sure if it was all or nothing at this point. I'll go with that one. Of course, you gotta put that. It did have 21, uh, two twin 21 inch torpedo tubes. I'm gonna go with uh, this is the one that's always which one do you do? Let's go try high TNT. I've never tried that one before. <clears throat> Range finder. Radar. That one, I, off the top of my head, I do not know if the hood had been refitted for radar by 1941. So, uh, let's see. Armor was 12. The belt was 12 to 6. Deck says 3 inches to 0.75 inches. Didn't do the decimal place. Yeah, 75 inches of armor. Yeah, that would be. Uh, wonder if that would break the game. The cunning tower. I have 11 inches. Turret was uh, 15. Top five, and again, secondaries. I have no clue. Seems to be the one thing that they just don't want to show. I'll do the secondary tower first. Because it was right there. And the main one connects right there. Ooh, funnel. Uh, I think off the top of my head it had two. We'll put two on there. That looks right. Our bits. That one I do need to go a little bit forward. If I do it too far back, the uh, main gun does not like to uh, sit up there. Okay. And the only thing that destroys the illusion is it looks like it's got German 15 inch guns on it. Uh, the secondary guns are going to be fun. No, it had a uh, seven twin four inch guns. Let's see. Two, four, and five, six. I don't think it'll allow me to put one right there, no. So I'll do a single right here. That gets me the... Be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it did have twin. 
I don't know if they were underwater or not. But I'm going to do deck if I can. No, it's not. Not going to let me do underwater. Four, eight. There we go. And of course, I have to rename it. HUD. Enterprise. Uh, not going to work too well. There it is. HMS HUD. Let's uh, launch it into battle and see how we do. If you like the video, no, subscribe to the channel. I'm on YouTube and BitChute. Uh, always looking for other places to go on. Uh, you never know how YouTube or BitChute will do down the line, especially with things like COPA, the law, and all that other type of stuff. It gets real con convoluted quickly. Now that actually looks like a Bismarck type battleship. We shall see. Uh, looks like it's got some big main guns. Six of them. Okay. Let's see, where's the battleship? Uh, follow me. The hood. Hood. We're going to turn. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I had this problem last time. Follow. Steady. Like that. Have the hood. Follow. The Jupiter. Let's see what that happens. I played this earlier uh, yesterday, and actually, I screwed up the uh, screwed up my navigation, and my battle cruiser I was just steaming in large circles. Well, my battleship uh, went and fought the enemy. It was really sad. So instead of having two battleships concentrate fire on, it was basically like one on two twice. And the battleship had a catastrophic you know, ammo detonation. Okay. I don't know what this guy is doing. Follow that guy. Let's see. Four. The cruiser. Almost looks more like an American cruiser, almost, the, with the funnels right there. You know, this hood just it doesn't seem to want to follow this battleship over here. Taken quite the time. Like 21 knots, but. Come on. Let's. There we go, maybe. Ah, 
Ah, come on. Oh, this guy is getting some pounding going on. Heavy cruiser, 49%. Battleship hasn't even been hit. It's got 18 inch rooms. Yeah, that's gonna. That's gonna hurt in the long run. I guess I could try to retreat with the battleship here. There's a torpedo and. armor 24 inches of armor I mean that's going to be a what would it do if it auto does that Just uh, anything up there. Let's see. Let's see. Sounds like my sound's starting to go out here. I wonder if that's a bug of some sort or what? Hmm. Right back here, just out of explosion. Catastrophic explosion. Destroyed. 18 inch gun, yeah. And the hood uh, isn't faring much better. Oh, the light cruiser, or the heavy cruiser sank. But the battleship here appears to be retreating. It's got a Good 36 knots over my 20. It's even going 31 knots right there. I have a damaged engine. And so, pretty much be retreating here. No, not quite the same. Uh, one damaged ship retreats. One sh battleship exploding. The German side note would have had both the uh, the battleship and the heavy cruiser sur surviving, but uh, nope. You can see there, it's still some. Well, yeah, we'll take this and. End it right here. Be heading off. HMS hood. Not too bad. You know, the, the, the turret design could use a bit of a... Uh, bit of a redesign there. But uh, overall, not too bad. Could be worse. Gave a good impression. Hopefully they do this with other ships. I'd like to see uh, you know, some of the German designs and others. So we'll see. Hope you enjoyed it. I had fun. And I'll see you next video.